is Jim Swickard, and representing Swick this evening is his son, Joe Swickard. First, I'd like to thank all the members of the committee, Bob Morgan, Pete Theory, and all the players and coaches that he covered. And there is no place my dad would rather be than at Galesburg High School basketball game the first weekend after Thanksgiving. Our household really revolved around from Thanksgiving through March, Silver Streak basketball. This is where he wanted to be. He loved the town, he loved the team, he loved the players and the personalities and the effort and the put forth. And sitting over there and listening to the stories, it reminded me why he loved high school prep sports more than anything else. It's the passion, the family, the community, the spirit that endures and even though the coach's career may be riding on some 17-year-old who just broke up with his girlfriend, <laughs> which is why he got out of coaching, he told me. <laughs> there is nothing like high school sports, and there's nothing better than Silver Streak basketball. If he could be here to hear that band strike up, do they still strike up the William Tell Overture? And Ohio Silver. It's what I grew up on, and I grew up on Doug Mills and the Kimbros and the Brewingtons. These, these guys were my heroes as a little kid, and playing in uh, Dick Lindstrom's backyard, playing baseball there, shooting baskets at Bobby Johnson's driveway. That's who we wanted to be. Those were, those were the folks we looked up to, and I am just I cannot tell you how proud my family is that he is being recognized. It's been almost 40 years since he passed away, but he's out at St. Joseph's Cemetery, and I'm sure he's rooting for the streets and thanking you guys and the committee 100% for everything you do for Galesburg High School. Thanks so much.